Hello everyone. So this is the first film of 2019. It's super exciting. A brand new year. We must of course bless this new year and I hope that you all had a safe and sound entry to the year. Today's film is going to be a brand and product focused film where we try out, trial out and review a particular product from a particular brand. Today I'm going to be examining the very recently released Lisa Eldridge Plush True Velvet Lipstick Colors. For those of you who may not be yet aware, Lisa Eldridge is one of the most respected makeup artists in the world. Lisa's work can be seen on catwalks to red carpets, from glossy advertisement campaigns to magazine covers. Lisa has an endless list of prestigious clients. She's done the makeup for so many celebrities and supermodels and superstars. She hasn't done mine yet. Lisa is also creative director. She has been the creative director for numerous makeup brands. And I believe that she is currently working as the global creative director for Lancome. Lisa is also an author and I have her book right in front of me. It is called Face Paint, The Story of Makeup by Lisa Eldridge. She released this in 2015 and it went on to be a bestseller. It is a marvellous read and I would highly recommend it to anyone, certainly if you have an interest in makeup. It really explores the subject and the history of makeup and tells such a wonderful story. Lisa is also a jewellery designer and has her own range of jewellery from rings to earrings. I should definitely leave the applicable link to her website within the description of this film so that you may check out her jewellery. Lisa also produces films and shares them on the platform www www.youtube.com. I shall definitely be leaving the applicable link to her channel within the description of this film. I would certainly say for those of you who enjoy my content, I think you will find Lisa's channel to be like dessert. So aside from the many things that Lisa has done, she very recently launched her own makeup product. She launched three lipsticks, which is super exciting. They are right in front of me. I am dying to get into them. Now, I was quite surprised when I found out Lisa was launching her own makeup. She was certainly somebody that I used to wonder whether or not she would bring out her own makeup. And when I found out that she was releasing makeup, I got so excited I had to lie down. Aside from Lisa's obvious talents, skill and accomplishments, what I really engage with is her style. Whether whether it be a makeup or jewellery or makeup products. Her style is classical yet so modern. It's clean and flawless yet unanxious. It's refined yet relaxed. There is a seamless balance in her style. That is definitely something that attracts my eye. I also think Lisa may happen to be an immortal just like me as she never appears to age. But moving on to the lipsticks. Now these lipsticks came out last year in 2018 and they were released roughly at the end of November as a limited edition but they sold out. I know I am a little bit late to the party but because I was doing so much traveling during November and December I didn't actually have the time to film a review about these. Because I didn't really have the time to review them I thought I'll save them for a special occasion for the first film of the year. They have been sitting on the altar in my studio for a month or so and I have been resisting the urge to go and swipe them because they are a very fascinating product as you will see in just a moment. Now Lisa Eldridge very kindly gifted me the three lipsticks that she released as well as the plush velvet makeup pouch which you will see in just a moment. She launched three lipsticks. These have a velvet formula and they're all red. Now they are very very different reds. We have velvet ribbon, velvet jazz and velvet morning. Now these lipsticks were launched individually. You can also buy the pouch individually. You can also purchase them as a set, the Ultimate True Velvet Collection. Now these lipsticks were released as a limited edition and they sold out very, very quickly. I have a suspicion that they shall be returning with a few more shades as well. Now my lipsticks arrived inside the pouch. They were packaged inside the Velvet Plush pouch. It's this beautiful black colour with Lisa's branding on the front. You know, I've got quite big man hands and the strength of Goliath. And if I give that a good tug, I don't hear any stitches ripping or anything like that, or the fabric stretching too much. It's very well made. The slide includes Lisa's emblem, opening to reveal all. A small promotional card held within, unloading the lipsticks which have been individually wrapped in protective bubble wrap. Now removing it. And these are the lipsticks, Velvet Jazz, Velvet Ribbon and Velvet Morning. These reds are so different, even though side by side they look quite similar as all reds tend to. They are very, very different. And each of these reds can be applied quite softly as a stain or they can be applied as a block color. They can also work as a blush if you apply a little bit of it to the cheeks. Having tried on one of these lipsticks, I did try on Velvet Ribbon. I haven't tried on the other two, however. What I found with them is that even though they would be marketed as a matte product, 
I wouldn't consider them a matte lipstick at all. A matte lipstick tends to be minus light. It has no light, it doesn't reflect light. I love matte lipsticks, I think they're fantastic. But this kind of formula is different in that respect. They don't have a satinness to them or a glossiness or a wetness like a regular lipstick would or a non-matte lipstick would. These do not have a sheen, but they are not minus light. They definitely reflect light a little bit. Now the lipsticks all come in this matte white and satin gold packaging. Of course you have Lisa's name on the side and Lisa's emblem just right there. What I like about the box as well is that it has the name on the top, which is very, very handy. I don't like it when they have it on the bottom. I would describe the packaging as being simple, slick and modern. The fun begins when you unbox it. It's absolutely beautiful. Black tissue paper has been very meticulously wrapped around the lipstick tube. When I first saw it, I know it's probably a little flippant of me to describe it in such a way. It almost reminded me of sushi, but what it really reminds me of is luxury chocolates when they come in this beautiful paper. And then when you take it off or you can roll it off, it reveals the bullet. Now this is the shade Velvet Ribbon, which is a blue toned red. All of these lipsticks are really unusual in that respect. They actually do look like velvet. I've actually held it up right beside velvet and you can actually see that they look almost identical to velvet. It is the same texture. The packaging is very simple. On the bottom you have the details and the name. On the top you have Lisa's icon. These lipsticks are also magnetized. So when you pull them, they're slightly resistant. I have to give it a good yank. And as you can see, right there, there's a little bit of plastic, which I trust will conceal the metal that makes this magnetic. I'm going to talk about that little bit of plastic in just a moment. But the overall lipstick itself, as you can see, is magnetized. So you can actually hold the lid on it like that. It is this almost champagne chrome color. It's not quite silver, even though it can look silver online or in images. It's actually tinted gold. And then of course we have this metal here, which has been satin finished, but it's in this lovely gold color. Now I tried a little bit of this color on the other day, only a little bit. I was actually a little scared to apply any of these because the lipsticks have been designed to resemble velvet. They aren't actually velvet. I know that Lisa said within her own film when she launched the lipsticks and produced a film to accompany the launch, she stated that the lipsticks have been designed almost like the structure of velvet, but with lipstick. So it's fascinating. I've never seen anything like it. And when I've had a closer inspection, it does look very much like velvet. I have, of course, already gone in and applied makeup. I didn't want to apply too heavy a look. I wanted the concentration to be on the lipsticks. I also went in and lined my lips, first of all, with some of Charlotte Tilbury's lip cheat in the shade Pillow Talk. Because I'm going in with reds, I didn't necessarily want to go in with a lip liner first of all. And because these are velvet formulas, like matte formulas, you can actually line the lips with the lipstick. My own natural lips are quite misshapen and I didn't want to chat away to you with wonky looking lips. Also because red is such a strong color, it can actually be quite difficult to get the line of it absolutely perfect. Nude is more forgiving and I much prefer to use nude lip liners when working with red lipstick anyway, because you can of course create a very clean line with a nude lip liner, but you can also cover the lip liner with the lipstick. I just tend to find it a little bit easier than using a dark lip liner. All these lipsticks really resemble velvet. And this is the color Velvet Ribbon. And I'm applying it straight from the bullet. First things first, it's very, very light. The formula is very, very light. It doesn't feel like I have really anything on the lips. It's very, very creamy, even though it's a matte. Well, it's more matte, it's more velvet. It's a very, very concentrated formula. You don't need a lot of it. I would say it's also very soft on the lips. It isn't quite a matte lipstick. It's definitely a velvet, because as you can see, if I just turn a little bit, it has a light to it. Now I'm going to go in with a MAC Cosmetics 231 brush. And as you can see, I don't actually have to line the lips that much because I've already lined them. I just have to go over the nude lip liner. It's a much easier method when applying darker lipstick. So that is the shade of Velvet Ribbon now applied. This color actually looks way better on me than I imagined. I don't typically go for this kind of red. Velvet Morning is more the color that I would go for if I was wearing a red or even Velvet Jazz. This kind of bluish red isn't necessarily my first choice, but this color, I must say, looks marvelous. I certainly didn't need a lot of lipstick to get a 
good coverage on the lips. It is definitely a very opaque formula and it makes my teeth look super white. And even looking at it, even though it is a matte formula, it certainly doesn't feel as drying on the lips as most matte lipsticks. I love matte lipsticks. I use them on myself. I use them within my work. These lipsticks definitely feel a little bit more bouncy. That's the word I would use. It's a much softer formula. I think this colour would look good on everyone, irrespective of skin tone. Applied strongly, as I have done, or applied as a little bit of a stain, quite softly. It's a lovely colour. It's not too blue, it's not too orange, it's just in the middle. Even though it is very modern, and Lisa wanted to create something that is very modern, I actually think there's something really classical about this as well. And this tube, even though it is so slick and simple and modern, I could definitely see this in the 50s or in the in the 20s as well. I certainly don't know if any of you are fans of the Miss Fisher series, but I could definitely envisage Miss Fisher running around with one of these in all that 20s galore. And that's actually one of the things that I wanted to mention. It's a very intelligent use of colours and textures. If you went for something that was totally gold, it can be a little bit jarring. And if you went for something that was totally one finish, Again, it can look a little bit flat or jarred. This little bit of plastic, which I trust conceals the magnet that secures the lid of the lipstick and the rest of the bullet together, because it is about two or three millimeters wide. And you can actually see the plastic is quite wide looking. This actually very cleverly breaks up the colors. The base of it is quite large and you can really hold on to that. But if it was as fat here as it is all the way up to the top, it would seem a bit cumbersome. But because it thins in, it becomes smaller. It's more pen-like. This choice of shape makes the lipstick a lot easier to use. And it certainly looks a lot more elegant because you have this nifty applicator, yet you've got this point where you can really hold the lipstick. It just makes the experience of applying the lipstick a lot easier. You get a lot more control. But that bit of black plastic is also glossy. It still reflects the light as the satin finish as well as the champagne chrome, I would call it. It still reflects the light. If I turn it like that, you can see it's reflecting the light. It just very cleverly breaks up the gold and graduates the shape very well. And of course, that is our ledge for the lid. And as you can see, they are magnetic. Now I just put it on like that and leave it. You can see it's magnetic. It closes itself. Because they are magnetic, they repel one another. They look absolutely beautiful together. But as you can see, they like their personal space. To finalize on this shade, this is the shade Velvet Ribbon. It is a marvelous, true velvet red color. So I very carefully went in and removed the lipstick Velvet Ribbon. And I took off a little bit of the Pillow Talk lip liner that I'd been wearing just a moment ago. It's still at a little bit of a residue, but it doesn't really matter. It still provides us the shape that we need. Now I'm going to go in with this absolutely beautiful color, which is the Lisa Eldridge Plush True Velvet Lipstick Color in the shade Velvet Jazz. All the lipsticks have this absolutely beautiful velvet effect. Again, I'm just going to be going in and applying it straight from the bullet. This color isn't actually as dark as it looks. It's a very browny red. It's absolutely beautiful. Now I've applied that quite crudely, just with one or two little swipes. Again, very strong color payoff, great opacity, great coverage. Usually on me personally, I'm not really a fan of dark red lips as I do tend to find that they make my features look quite severe. Now I'm going to go in and perfect the shape with an Anastasia A1 brush. So that is the velvet jazz now applied. Now I will warn you, the lip line and the shape of my lips will look a little bit wonky because I have just followed my own natural lip line. My own natural lip line is quite asymmetric and a little bit disproportionate here and there. And especially with darker lipsticks, it really emphasizes the shape of one's lip. But I've only applied this just so that you can see the color. The other jazz is quite an interesting lipstick. The color is quite interesting. It's quite a browny, slightly earthy, dark red. I wouldn't consider it a blue red or an orange red. It has quite a browny undertone. Even though it's quite a strong color and it's a darker red, it actually looks quite soft amongst the makeup and the rest of the look. All of these colors, certainly this one, would work on every skin tone. Of course, this color might look really dark on me, but if you are at the other end of the spectrum and have quite dark skin, a color like this will probably look quite bright on you. Colors like these are actually quite rare to have a slightly brown, it's almost brown based, but it's not. It's just going towards the slightly browner direction, but I would say it still remains very much a red. One of the interesting points I have to make about this colour in particular 
is that when I began to apply it, it doesn't really matter whether you are using a more affordable lipstick or a lipstick that is more high end. This kind of color tends to go on quite patchy. It tends to drag and you have to do one or two coats and build up quite a thick layer to get quite an opaque color across the lip. Whereas with this lipstick in the shade Velvet Jazz, I only had to do one layer. So that is definitely a positive about this lipstick. I would definitely say its formula was a little bit more creamy than the Velvet Ribbon. This one's much more it almost feels slightly satiny and it's a little bit more satiny looking, which I would consider a positive given the fact that it is far darker than the Velvet Ribbon. I also just made a trip out for dinner. I ate an entire village and the lipstick remained on. Certainly with my colouring, when I look at this lipstick, even though it is dark and quite strong, the colour is quite understated. I'd consider Velvet Jazz quite a bold, yet a very sensible red. So I further went in and removed the Velvet Jazz color. Now I'm going to go in with our final shade, which is the Lisa Eldridge Plush True Velvet Lipstick color in the shade Velvet Morning. Now if I hold this color up against my skin, it will probably look quite orange. It looks a little bit more orangey red. And as you can see, it is this absolutely beautiful, vibrant, orangey red shade. Now I think this color will look best on me personally. It's more the kind of red that I would wear. I much prefer these orangey reds on me. First of all, that actually looks really orange on me. And you don't actually need that much of the lipstick to gain quite an opaque layer. Now I have applied that directly from the bullet quite crudely. And as you can see, that's given us quite a strong color payoff. Now I'm going to go in with a NARS number two brush just to perfect the lip line. You have no idea how much it pains me going in and disturbing the lipstick and using it because when you do use it, you actually disturb the formation of the velvet effect as these are a work of art. Now, I absolutely adore this color Velvet Morning. I think it looks absolutely gorgeous on the lips. And this is more the kind of red that I like to wear, something that's quite vibrant and more on the orangey side of things. Now, even though with my coloring, it is more typical to go for a color that's more blue-based, but I just prefer the way that orange-based reds look on me. I don't feel that they're as stark. Of course, orangey reds can look really stark on you, depending on your own coloring. I think all of these colors will look good on absolutely everyone. I think there's a red there for everyone, irrespective of undertone, irrespective of ethnicity. I think there's something there for everyone. So that more or less completes my brand and product focus film, testing, trialing, and reviewing the Lisa Eldridge Plush True Velvet Lipstick Colors. Now, I think these lipsticks are absolutely gorgeous. The formula is fantastic. They are creamy, they are soft, and they are velvety. The packaging is gorgeous. There's something very classic about it, but also very modern about it. I'd actually describe these as a no-nonsense product with very charming packaging. Now, I don't know for certain if these lipsticks in this exact packaging will be returning. I have a suspicion they will be. I don't know if the exact packaging will be the same for the next ones that Lisa brings out, if she's to bring out any more. I have a slight suspicion that she will. I hope she does. I definitely think this formula in other colors would be fantastic. And I should be putting my lipsticks back into my very decadent velvet pouch. I love the fact that it's black. You can never go wrong with things that are black. The Lisa Eldridge Plush True Velvet Lipstick Colors are priced at 26 pounds individually. I believe that these lipsticks are sold exclusively at Lisa's website, www.lisaeldridge.com. I should definitely leave the applicable links to her website and her own YouTube channel, as well as her own social media within the description of this film. I have really liked working with this formula and these lipsticks. I would definitely consider them a luxury product. And I would like to seize this as the opportunity to congratulate Lisa Eldridge on the launch of her plush True Velvet Lipsticks. And I wish Lisa Eldridge and all at Lisa Eldridge all the best of luck with their future launches, their product development, and their growth as a brand. I have had a lot of fun creating this film for you here today, and I hope that you have found this film to be either interesting, useful, helpful, or beneficial. Once again, thank you so much for watching, and of course, take care. Bye.